What's good? It's the kid, Gilligan Gatsby the Great. You're tuned in to First Strings TV. inspired me initially when I was younger. The first rap song that I really loved was uh, Das Effects, We Want Effect. And when I was in elementary, Dickable Planets came to my school. I had no idea what rap was. I just thought it was good. But by the time I hit 14, 15 years old, I said, maybe I can't do this. And my inspiration now is the people. I want to make good music, inspire the art of hip hop, get people back to making real, incredible lyrical content, live shows. Like you just saw a minute ago. I first touch down, breach first feet first. Never hit the ground, reach first feet hurt. 50 left hand, beat first feet hurt. And you up in the ground, concert, concert. Rocking for the crown, we search, we first. Swagging in the ground. And now just keep it going, so that's my inspiration. Knocking up the music for the people. So when you're on stage, you're really like into the crowd, you're all hyped. So what are you thinking about when you're at the Entertaining, you know, it's a lot of rappers. I'm not knocking anybody what they do, but most rappers stand in one spot and they kind of do what they do. But I, I try to like channel the old school where they was really rocking shows, really embody what an MC is, moving the crowd. So the energy they give me, I give it right back so that it just keeps going for however long 20 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. I want the energy to just keep going. And when they leave, I want them to be like, I'm tired. My bones ache the whole nine, but it was all in good fun. Okay, so when you're you're here in LA, yes. how would you describe the independent um, music scene in LA? The independent scene is real competitive in LA. Uh, not too much unity. Uh, it's unfortunate to say a lot of people do their own thing. But if we were to go like five, five or six artists combined co collectively and push a movement, we would really get the buzz and respect we need. And also it would take us making different types of music as well. So I feel like I'm a leader of the new school with that old school flow. You know what I'm saying? I got my man Raw Dog right here. He making beats. He the man behind the beats. I'm gonna get him in camera real quick. Cause I'm a humble dude. You know, I'll take all the credit. If I had my dude right here, I'll probably be working at Alberto's right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell the people, what can we expect from you in the future, and what are you pushing now? Uh, right now, website just launched, gilligangatsby.com. I uh, got about four or five more shows out in the Hollywood area, and I'm getting ready to launch uh, my, my first official uh, album called Hometown Hero. Okay, and I saw a music video from you that came out maybe in January, February. You had tons of views. <laughs> Tell me about that video. Oh, well, the song is called I Promise. Uh, basically, the content of the song is no matter how successful I get, no matter how big my career gets, I promise to always stay humble, stay grounded in God, and make good music for the people and never fall into the gimmicks of what people want you to be. So that's the song. Go to it right now, right after this video uh, interview. YouTube, GilliganGatsby.com. It's called I Promise. Awesome. Thank you for kicking it with First Strings TV. First Strings TV, what's happening? <laughs> Script two, stand up on six two, cut like Kinsu, rap like Hindu, tough what I've been through, sit with a pencil, check my potential, Christ in the mental, nice with the dental, fight off the sinful, write the suspenseful, flow got a clip for, right at the tempo, snap every intro, bite like a pit bull, the mic get your mic, rip a hype, spend the mic, in the light, spend the club with your blood. I'm here for